Let's create a honeycomb. If you don't see that in the menu, please activate an add-on called Extra Objects. In edit mode, type E to extrude. How do we bend this object so that only the middle part moves upward? I'll use EV with bloom and apply an emission material. If I add a simple deform modifier, we can only bend the mesh one way. I can create it an arc shape with this setting, but it's not possible to bend the mesh the way I initially wanted. To create an arc shape, we would need to use an empty object. One way to create a customized shape is to use a curve circle that's cut in half, and use a curve modifier. Let's cut the curve circle in half by removing the bottom vertex after toggling cyclic. That's what I wanted, but how do we modify this shape? I want to select certain vertices and twist them to create an abstract art, but I can't do that with a curve modifier. We have a lattice object that we can use to do just that. The idea is to turn the lattice object into a plane. Curve it by using the curve modifier, and modify the shape any way we like. There is the same shape, but it was lattice, not the honeycomb that created the curve shape. By the way, we can't check or deselect the lattice vertices in edit mode.
I'll use a circle select tool to select certain vertices. I'll scale them and move them up. Check out this complex shape. Anything is possible with this combination. This is only one example we can achieve with the lattice bending method. Use this method to create impossible shapes that can make the viewers wonder how they were created. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.